Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about controlling LEDs using switches. So let's start. Example 4. If toggle switch 1 is on, then LED 1 will be on. If toggle switch 2 is on, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. If toggle switch 3 is on, then LED 1, LED 2 and LED 3 will be on. If toggle switch 4 is on, then LED 1, LED 2, LED 3 and LED 4 will be on. So for LED 1 to be on, either switch 1 or switch 2 or switch 3 or switch 4 should be on. Any one switch should be on, then LED 1 will be on. And if switch 2 or switch 3 or switch 4 is on, on then LED 2 will be on and if switch 3 or switch 4 is on then LED 3 will be on and if switch 4 is on then LED 4 will be on. So for this example we will be using normally open contacts and with that we will be implementing our logic gate. So let's move to codices where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open codices Let's create a new project here and select standard project as template and click on OK. After that, choose this PLGPRG in ladder logic diagram and click on OK. This is actually PLC programming and click on OK. After that, go to PLC programming and here we will draw the ladder diagram. So firstly, we will insert a normally open contact for switch 1 and then we will insert one more in parallel, then one more in parallel and then one more in parallel. So this will be switch 1, this will be switch 2, okay. This will be switch 3, this will be switch 4. So when any one of the switches is on, then motor 1 will be on. So this will be, sorry, this will be LED, LED 1 will be on. So if switch 1 is on, LED 1 will be on. If switch 2 is on, LED 1 will be on. If switch 3 is on, LED 1 will be on. And if switch 4 is on, LED 1 will be on. After that, we will add one more network here. Insert network below. And here, we will use three switches for motor 2. So we will insert a normally open contact. Then insert contact parallel and then one more contact in parallel. So this will be switch 2, this will be switch 3 and this will be switch 4. So here if switch 2 or switch 3 or switch 4 is on then, uh, then LED 2 will be on. So this nor uh, this coil will be for LED two. So when switch one is on, LED one will be on. With that, no LED will be on. Only LED one will be on. And when switch two is on, LED one will be on and LED two will be on. And then we will insert one more network here. And here we will use. one normally open contact and one more normally open contact in parallel. So this will be switch 3 and this will be switch 4. So when switch 3 or switch 4 is on then LED 3 will be on. So we'll insert a coil here and this will be LED 3. Okay. 
and after that we'll insert one more network here below and here we'll use one normally open contact and a coil so this will be switch 4 and this will be LED 4 so when switch 1 is on only LED 1 will be on if switch 2 is on the signal will pass through this and LED 1 gets on. With that also the signal will pass through this also and LED 2 will be on. And then if switch 3 is on, the uh, the, uh, the signal will pass through this, LED 1 gets on. Also with that LED 2 gets on and also the signal will pass through this and LED 3 will also get on. And then if switch 4 is on, the signal will pass through this and LED 1 gets on. Also, the signal passes through this and LED 2 gets on. The signal passes through this contact and LED 3 gets on. And when switch 4 is on, the LED 4 also gets on. So if switch 1 is on, only LED 1 will be on. If switch 2 is on, only LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. If switch 3 is on, LED 1, LED 2, LED 3 will be on. And if switch 4 is on, all the 4 LEDs will be on. We will generate code here. And then go to online and start simulation. And then log in here. Yes. And then start. As you can see here, no LED is on. And if I turn on switch 1, I will uh, keep it true and debug it and write values. So you can see here, LED 1 gets on. When switch 1 is on, When switch 1 is on, only LED 1 is on and other LED 2 is off, LED 3 is off and LED 4 is off. And then if if switch 1, we will turn it off and turn on switch 2. Let's debug it and write values. You can see here LED 1 is on with that LED 2 is also on and LED 3 and LED 4 are off. And now let's turn on switch 3, toggle switch 3. Let's debug it. And you can see LED 1 is on, LED 2 is on and also LED 3 is on. And then if we turn on switch 4 and debug it, and you can see LED 1 is on, LED 2 is on, LED 3 is on and also LED 4 is on. So when switch 4 is turned on, all the 4 LEDs gets on. And when I turn on switch 3, then only 3 LEDs gets on. LED 1 gets on, LED 2 gets on and LED 3 gets on. And when I turn on switch 2 only, then only two LEDs gets on. LED 1 gets on and LED 2 gets on. And if we turn on switch 1 only, then only LED 1 will get on and all other LEDs will turn off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.